In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to just lay out a header and a business card and also maybe a foot or two. Um, so basically, the first thing we're going to do is uh, download this. And I'll put this in the YouTube tutorial down. But um, we're also going to go download some fonts from defont.com and then download this right here. So uh, to start off with, uh, I'm just going to click on defont.com. And in there, uh, and there's other websites you can do this too. So you just kind of come in and basically find a font that you want to download. So maybe I'll download this one right here. And uh, if you're on a, on a diff, I'm on Firefox, so it pulls this up. I'm just going to click Save. If you're in Chrome, usually it throws it down the bottom. And if you click on the arrow and look at look for it in the downloads, that's where you're best to get that. So. Um, so maybe I'll download one more and then click OK. And then I'm going to come up to this little icon since I'm in Firefox and click on this uh, magnifying glass to open it up. And if you're in Chrome, look down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. So when I double click on it, it should unzip it for me. Um, so it'll unzip it for me. Uh, and then and I'm on a Mac, so if you're on a PC, it'll unzip it too. Uh, and then we're looking either for a TTF or an OTF, one of those two files. And uh, I'm just going to double click on it. And since I'm on a Mac, it's using FontBook is the program it uses. On a PC, it uses something different. So I'll install that font, uh, give it a minute to install it. And then sometimes it gives you an error message, but usually it just pops right in. Um, and everything. So I'm going to download that other one too. So double click and then that will just download it. And then this one gave me a whole bunch so um, I can kind of pick and choose. Looks like there's some different types on here. Uh, I'm just going to install one of them. I don't need all of them. Uh, so I'll just do maybe this clean one. Double click and same thing it shoots it right into a font book. On a Mac, on a PC it would be something slightly different. Uh, and if it gives you an error message, just check that in. So now that I have those, I should be able to use that on any program on my computer, uh, like Word or Illustrator, PowerPoint. It won't work on uh, other programs, but like on Google Docs, but um, most software on your computer will. So now I'm going to go over here, and uh, if you're just watching on YouTube, I'll put this link in the, the information below. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And from here, it should shoot you to this screen. Uh, there will be a graphic showing up. It's being a little bit slow. And if you just click on this guy right here, that should let you download it. Um, and once again, I'm just going to save it, or I can just click Open to either one. And then from there, it, it should throw it into your Downloads folder. So there's my folder. Just double click on that. And then it should open it up in uh, this program. So Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, uh, you probably have to log in once that does. I'm already logged in, but um, log in with your account um, and then you should be good. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is just come in here and just kind of play with this. So I'm just going to double click on it and then just type out a name. So I'm going to just type out um, uh, my name on there. That's going to be where my header goes. And then as soon as I double clicked on that, <clears throat> I'm going to click off onto this selection tool. And, and you actually might be in this essentials where you don't see as many tools. So I'm actually going to jump into that. But if you want to do classic, you can. Um, and then once you click on that, <clears throat> over here in your properties, if you click back onto it, uh, sometimes you have to be on the text tool. Sometimes you just have to select it. Just don't click inside of it because once you do that and you try and change fonts, it won't work. So click on the selection tool. See a left mouse click and then I'm going to go ahead and just click uh, on this. And then hopefully I can find one of my fa fonts that I downloaded. And, and sometimes the biggest challenge is remembering what you actually downloaded. So I can come in here and just scroll down uh, until and, and they're typically in alphabetical order. So once you find the one that you want to, to use, then um, you can position it. Over here you can play with bold, you can play with fill color. Um, and if you don't like doing it that way, you could also double click over here and change the color that way too. 
Um, you could also stretch it out. So if you hold down shift, it'll constrain it. And, and that'll get your font in there for you. So I'm going to go ahead and there's this box in here. And this is just a fill box that's behind it. Um, so I'm with the selection tool and I'm just going to play with that a little bit. So maybe I'll just kind of squish that down a little bit. Um, and then maybe I'll change it to a different color and kind of go from there. And then I kind of want a background color too. So I'm going to grab this rectangle tool and just kind of fill that in uh, and add a color to that. So on this one, it kind of messed it up. It put it in front. So to fix that, if we just right mouse click and go to range and send to back, uh, that'll push everything back and everything. Uh, down here on this footer, and I kind of want to zoom in a little bit. So if you hold down the Alt key, you can zoom in. Uh, if you hold down the Alt key, and you can also you use the scroller wheel to go in and out. If you hold the space bar down, that gives you this uh, pan tool that you can grab it and move it around and everything. So, so I'm going to change this down here. I'm going to just make a simple line maybe. Um, and I'm just going to use this eyedropper tool. So I have it selected. And then I'm just going to come up here and click uh, and try and get that yellow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. So hold down the Alt key, and duplicate it, and maybe kind of shrink that down a little bit. And then maybe I'll just throw in a color too. So I'll grab the rectangle tool. And I'll just put another big uh, fill in there. Click on this to kind of make it go black or double click. I could have chosen it that way too. And once again, this is in front. So right mouse click and arrange and send to back. So now I've got kind of this little footer thing uh, that I think I like. Um, maybe I'll take off that stroke because I don't really want that in there. Okay, so that gets me my header and um, that part and uh, if you want to add some other shapes, then that's great. So if you click and hold, uh, I can go ahead and grab maybe a circle or something. And, and maybe I'll just grab a circle and throw that in here. Change the color of it. And right now it is in front. I want to put it in between somehow. So probably the best way is select on my circle. Hold down shift and select on my background. Arrange. And then send it back. And then... Oh, that definitely didn't do it. So range and send to back. Um, and I think I forgot to do it with this. So range, send to back. So I need a click, hold shift. So now I've got both of them selected. Right mouse click, arrange, and send to back. And then that should pop that in there. Um, position that where I want it to be. And anything that over overhangs like I've got right here, um, it's going to get cut off with this. I mean, this whole box, there's a artboard is what they're called. And anything that's not in there and that's overhanging, when you export it, it'll get cut off and stuff. So I'm going to just add a quick little drop shadow. And so I just held down the Alt key to duplicate. Um, maybe I will zoom in and... Play with that, arrange that, send it backward. I think that should just put it one. Uh, and then maybe change this up to a slightly lighter color. So, and you can do all kinds of stuff with this. So play with it and have some fun uh, with your footers. Uh, maybe I'll hold down the Alt key and duplicate this element and have it kind of be down here too. Or whatever you feel like doing, that's kind of what you do. So and that's kind of how you play with uh, your headers uh, and your footers uh, on this.